Hey guys, welcome back to the C and J show. And I have my favorite Jen and Juice here. And I have my sister Neek. Okay, so let's just jump into this uh hot topic. Now we all know that Lily and Grams is no longer together, and they both have uh they're doing their own thing. Let's just say that. Now, Grams just made a uh a Q and a spicy Q and A talk, you know, and have Avery, you know, she got Avery in, in there and a friend. Now this is this is me. This is how I feel. Okay, let's go slow before we just like really dive dive deep in it. Um. Okay, so Avery was explaining some things and saying how she's not a homewrecker. She didn't break nobody up. And you can't do that. That's not what she is. You cannot break up something that I guess is already messed up. And what I say to that is, okay. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to say, okay. And that, and that is my okay in the funniest way. Because one thing I do not like what people do. And first, before I even go on, let me make this very clear. They have their own lives. Lily is not my sister. This is not my daughter. So I can't be so mad at Grams and Avery and go over there and cuss and do all that. We should never do that. These is just people that have a channel that have opened up their lives and they're sharing it. And the only thing that we could do is respond we do not have to act as if this is family members. So I'm not about that. And I don't think you should either. But I'm going to say this. I hate when people say they didn't mess something up because it was already messed up. No, sweetie. That's not the way that goes. See, the thing is, you, I see, people love to dress things up. Like, that's, you can never dress a banana. Uh, we cannot make a banana look like an apple. An apple can never look like a banana. I don't care how you dress that up. And you want to say, oh, yeah, well, you know what? Guess what? I mean, let's be real here. They, I ain't a homewrecker. They was already messed up. No, but guess what? They were together in spite of their bad times and whatever was going on with them. They were together when you said, hey, hello, and you, you had an eye for her when you know she was already in a relationship. So now, Graham's seeing that. She said she ain't paying no attention to it that first time. Then come back a year later, she said something. Okay, now she ain't in the, into nothing. We know that that's not true. You're just trying to not look as bad. Now, I would prefer, let's be honest. And I tell my, I, I, I don't even go for people like this. If I tell you I have somebody and you tell me, okay, well, yeah, that's cool, but we can be friends. You let me know you already have something. You got things going on. And number one, if you don't respect the relationship that I'm in, right? So when we get into a relationship and we get two to three to four or five years deep, how are you going to do? What are you going to do? Like, what, how's it to you? And I'm sorry, like, it ain't no, oh, we was made for each other. We was just trying to find an X, Y, and Z. It, no, man, you ain't trying to find nothing because it's a difference. People have problems in their relationship. Everybody do. And I think it's, a, it's different when you have cheating problems versus I have an attitude or I have a, a little temper, but I don't hit you, but I got a temper. Or I may not, you know, speak to you. I may not have as much as money. Those things come, but cheating, that's something different. And I'm sorry, like, I hate when females look at things this way. That I ain't mess it up. Um, that that was already messed up, girl. You, you know, I just came in and, and basically saved the day. Okay, but you got to understand, however you feel like you saved the day, 
Remember one day and time and year, somebody may feel the same way about you. Then guess what? I just came in and I just saved, I just saved the day because I don't know. I'm not, I'm not. I'm not going to, and I know some people may disagree. Who knows? That depends on how you are. But I'm not going to ever, I never thought that that was cute. To talk to someone knowing that they got somebody. Even if I could see that they're on rocky times and it's a possibility that they just may break up. But what she really don't know is, is this. They done been together for a hot minute, on, off, on, off, on and off, on and off, like a good, what, nine, 10 years, something like that. So that means you, they have a little more advantage than you. So let's just say a year rolls round two, then Lily goes, hey, hey there, Grams, how you doing? I was just calling, and y'all having a rocky time. And Lily just said, oh, you know what, shoot, I was just helping you out, and I didn't know that you and Grams, I mean, I knew you guys was together, but I didn't think I was doing like that, because we was already broken up, and I just had said, hey, Grams, you know, like, just reminiscing on our past and stuff, and that was it. How would you feel about that? And I do understand, too, it takes two people to be into something. And so, really, that was also for Grimms to not pay attention to that. But I know people move on feeling. And it's easy, I guess. You can see stuff more when, I guess, when you are going through something back to back and not feel, not feeling appreciated. Maybe you can look more so in into them comments like, oh, shoot. Because that would be hard for me. Like, I don't think I can go look into a comment. And I get a little couple, of, um, I get some comments. My freaking stuff in the DMs. And I don't think I can go to the ones way from a year ago. I'm like, yeah, you know what? Now, that one really stand out. They, they said that last one, well, we're in 2021. They said they're like the ending of 2019. I, I don't know if I could go back that far. Look at that. Something that, you know, I don't know. But to each his own, only thing I can say is, hey, guys, respect each other. Please, I didn't say just what I would have loved for Graham to do, honestly, for both of them to do before they did this. Instead of Graham's kind of like piecing it a little bit, giving you a little bit, but not nothing, never apologize and never saying, listen, Lily was, Lily was good. Like, and we have to be able to separate Regular problems versus cheating. That's different. Like, come on. You, you Even, shoot, moms, daughters, dad, daughters, your family, sisters, kids, you can have a best relationship and then have disagreements. That does not mean that it's something big. Cheating, you're taking it on a whole nother level. So, I mean, I just wish... Grams could have done it in that way, like apologize, like, you know, yeah, doing apologies, saying it, but kind of not putting it off, like, you know, hey, you know, everybody do things, I was a little tired, my family was tired, Lily was, I was just, Lily could be a bit much, and, you know, I was really depressed and unhappy, and, you know, that didn't mean to happen, and I just somehow stumbled over Avery, and now we're together, and, you know, and then Avery, saying she was manifesting, not, not, like, manifesting for grants, but manifesting to find someone good, and now y'all is good, and Grams was like, yeah, you know, because I was manifesting, too, I wanted something good, so if you was manifesting that, since you had just got engaged, you should have been manifesting and praying on your own relationship to get better instead of going looking for something new. I don't understand why people feel like when it's time, like, no, I ain't trying to give extra energy into my own relationship. I'd rather waste my time and, and get to know somebody because it seems new, it's fresh. So I don't feel like putting up with you no more. It's just, it's just too much. I'd rather just go and meet somebody new. 
And so, therefore, we, we keep this same pattern that just keeps going on with everybody. But I'm going to leave that be. But people, listen, if you are in a relationship and I understand problems come, they will too come. But please know the difference between relationship issues versus you're cheating and you're bringing, you are inviting different spirits into your relationship. Because what you did was you and Lily was having an issue and you decided to bring a spirit into your relationship, which is Avery. And now you're feeling, you're really feeling yourself because now it's just like somebody is giving you more of that green grass and Lily is just being herself like, look, if I, if I'm rude to you, you know why. If I don't want to speak to you, you know why and vice versa. It's, you would know why. But when you bring people into stuff and y'all already been together for eight, nine, ten years, you know it's not going to last too much longer because it always has to be something to break it. And that's what was going to break. And I'm sorry if I need to say it. I'm sorry if anybody feels this way. And I'm just so sorry. And I could be wrong. But Avery seemed like at the time I guess I want her to know that she's important. Because I can see she needs to be to feel important. And also, I need to speak myself up and get an opportunity. My own self. And if I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. But that's the way that it appears to be. That's just to me. Leave your comments, likes, comments. Tell me your thought. What would you do? How would you dress it up? Hey, but I'm not either way. It's all news. But I just, I just seen this. I ain't know what to say. All right, guys. We're out.